Hi everyone, Rose Spiller from Proverbs 910 Ministries here with another excerpt from Chris Paxson's in my book, No Half Truths Allowed, Understanding the Complete Gospel Message. Today's excerpt is from chapter 9 entitled, Priceless Rewards and Royal Responsibilities. In this chapter, Chris and I discuss what we gain and what we're now accountable for once we've been saved by Jesus. We look at what it means that the kingdom of God has always been, that it was ushered in at the time of Jesus' incarnation, and that there's still aspects of it yet to come. The following excerpt is from the section about why witnessing the gospel is so crucial. So here's the excerpt. Sometimes we hesitate to witness the gospel message because we don't want to sound preachy or like Bible thumpers. We may fear rejection or ridicule from people. To that, Paul would say poppycock. Romans 1.16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes. This was a radical statement Paul was making. This word gospel in the original Greek is a word that was seldom used at the time this was written. Nobody talked this way because the word literally means nearly too good to be true news. It referred to news that was so awesome, nothing really justified using it. There was nothing that was too good to be true. That is until Jesus came along, which is precisely the point Paul is making. Because what Jesus did for us is the only thing in all of history worthy of being labeled gospel, we cannot alter it. We cannot try to avoid feelings of shame by altering the gospel message to make it popular and inoffensive. As 1 Corinthians 2.14 tells us, the natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to them, and he is, una- he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. As this verse tells us, for those whose hearts have not been regenerated by the Holy Spirit, the gospel will sound silly no matter how we present it. But for those whose hearts have been regenerated, it will be the life-saving message they desperately need to hear. We hope you've enjoyed today's excerpt from our book. We invite you to like and follow our No Half Truths Facebook page to get book news and to RSVP to our launch party on May 8th, which will be online at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can click under events and the RSVP will come up. We also invite you to take a listen to our podcast, No Trash, Just Truth, available on all podcast platforms. We think you might like what you hear. Thanks, everyone. Have a blessed day.